Hi, I'm Melanie Ho and I'm a consultant from Professional Vantage and today I am going to show you within Microsoft Dynamics GP2013 some of the new features in the Inventory Control module. In GP2013 you can now make an item inactive by going to the item maintenance screen, selecting the item and ticking the inactive tick box. In the item number lookup you can also change the view to exclude inactive items. To always default the lookup to exclude inactive items, remember to select set as default view. To make an item active again, so to the item number and remove the tick. So you can also make a site inactive by going to the site maintenance, selecting the site, ticking the inactive tick box and save. When making a site inactive it will not exclude it from the lookup. To make a site ID active again simply remove the tick. You can also make an item site combination inactive by clicking on the item sites window, selecting the item number, selecting an assigned site and tick the inactive tick box. What this does is when you perform on any inventory transaction entry window the combination of the item and site will get a message that the combination is inactive and cannot be transacted against. You can also link items to another item. For example, I'll go to the item maintenance and I call up one of the items. I click on the suggest items button and in this window I can select some items with a quantity and another item and I can tick which sub document that I want this suggested item maintenance to appear on. What this does is it allows you to upsell on an existing sales transaction or suggest that when this main item is purchased they should purchase these two other items as well. So to show you how that works I am going to go to a sales transaction entry window And on a quote, it's an item, get a batch, and I'll select that item. And as soon as I tab off the extended price field, we suggest sales item entry window appears with the two item numbers that I set up. I can choose to only select some of the items or all of the items. I'll select all. Click on the OK button and what that does is it appends to the existing sales transaction. Another feature in the inventory control module is the use of reason codes against inventory transactions. So I'm going to go to my inventory navigation pane and in my setup section I'm going to go to the reason code setup. So you can set up as many reason codes as you want and I've set up one here called damaged 
and by ticking these tick boxes you indicate that you can assign this particular reason code for that transaction. For adjustments and variances you can choose whether to apply reason codes when it's either a decrease or an increase or both increase and a decrease. You can also set up a default offset account for this particular reason code. And you can also choose to make this reason code inactive if you require. So we'll perform a transaction so you can see how this works. So I'll do a transaction entry. Select an item. And before I select a reason code, I'd like to just show you the offset account. If I click on the distribution button, the offset account here is from the setup under item master. Now, if I go in and select a reason code, damaged, and I go back to the distributions button, the offset account now defaults from the reason code setup. The next feature is the ability to multi-select serial numbers on a serialized item, on a sales transaction or a receiving transaction or an inventory transaction entry window. I will demonstrate this using the transfer entry window. This is a serialized item. As soon as I tab off the two side field, the serial number entry window appears. In prior versions of Great Plans, you would need to select one serial number at a time. In GP2013, you can hold your control key down and select multiple serial numbers. The insert button. Alternatively, if they fall within the range, you can highlight the first line, hold your shift key down, and select the last serial number. Insert. The last two features are two new inquiry windows. If you had bins enabled in inventory control, you can now use the item bin transfer inquiry window to view host of transactions. Or use the bin transfer inquiry window and you can search by these filters. These are two new windows that they did not have in the prior versions. That was some of many new features in GP2013. If you would like to learn more about what GP2013 has to offer, please head to our website for more information and videos. Thank you.